than that. My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Chevy, who and move back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block, cause you know I. Uh -huh. guys welcome to a new vlog i am downtown chicago i am trying to get my birth certificate i guess i wait till i'm 48 and lose my birth certificate so i'm here now trying to get my birth certificate the line is very long so this is the land where you go get your marriage license your birth certificate um deeds for your house any any type of record death certificates any type of record you get in this line but what was trending on Instagram since I've been talking about marriage is this young man was talking about him and his homie went to the club and his and he was in his homie's wedding, his best friend's wedding, right? And so he and him went to the club and his best friend was acting single, trying to talk to all the ladies in there. He told his best friend, man, you better chill out. You had me in this in this wedding, in this lady face. Loving on this lady, calling her sus. Now you in the club acting like you're single and you want me to help you get ladies and sit here without saying anything. Like I just ain't spent a whole lot of money in your wedding to be in your wedding, to travel with you while you get married. Um, just, he, he said like he spent money in Vegas. So I'm sure they spent money on the boat gambling. Uh, so how do you guys feel about the Instagram thing that's trending? Do you feel like he was holding his friend accountable because he was married and he's telling him, bro, chill out. Uh, you better be in here, act like you're married, get you a drink and sit down somewhere. Or do you think he was breaking a, the bro code by telling his homie, uh, telling his homie, man, you better act like you're married, woo -woo. do he supposed to just go along with it or do he supposed to say something? Let me know, since I keep talking about weddings, do you hold your friend accountable for their actions if they're out acting single and you just was in their wedding crying for them, happy for them, praying for them, uh, watching them take their vows, uh, you spending a whole lot of money for your wedding outfit to be in the wedding, getting your hair done, taking trips. Do you call your homie accountable or do you just don't say nothing because you don't want to break the sus code and the bro code? Do you just go along with your friend or your brother or your, uh, your sus? Or your bro cheated. Okay, guys, that's my question for now. And this is my afternoon. Yeah, I have on a seven dollar rainbow dress with the belt and uh oh, and these gold slides. And Gucci for bed. So that's my outfit check for the day. Let me get back in line. I just want to ask you, how do you feel if one of your friends is married and then when you guys go outside, they act like they're single? And then, you know, sometimes the best friend end up lying on the friend if they start cheating. They be like, I was out with Tasha last night. You know, those sis probably tell her husband. I was out with Tasha last night, but all the time they was not with you. You don't even know what they're talking about. You was at home sleep. So now you got to lie to their significant other saying that they were with you. How do you guys feel about someone being married and then they start cheating on their wife or their husband and they include you in their BS? See you guys in a minute. Let me get back in line so I can take care of my business. This is downtown Chicago. This is called the Daily Center. Okay, quick question before, oh, I got my birth certificate. Quick question before I leave downtown. How do you guys feel about someone staying married because of the kids? 
or how do you feel about someone staying married because they don't want to embarrass themselves on asking for a divorce they they have an image to uphold how do you feel about people staying in marriages and they are unhappy just i feel like if you're not happy let's get a divorce and finish living your life but okay guys i'll see you guys at our next event whatever we have planned whatever exciting picking this camera up so let's go Okay guys, so since I was already out, I decided to stop somewhere and have breakfast. But you know my breakfast is going to consist of a salad because I'm back doing raw. So I probably have a little salmon on there, but I'm not going to get like the oatmeal, egg, stuff like that. Even though I should for protein, but I'm going to use the salmon for the protein in my salad. So I just stopped by a continental restaurant. It's like a truck stop restaurant. And I'm going to get some breakfast and then... Uh, We'll continue to enjoy our day. This is the day after Memorial Day, and I wish you all nothing but peace, love, and happiness, and prosperity. I see you guys once the food comes out. Just like the song says, I need to get it together. I'm a hoarder, a clothes hoarder, that is, purse hoarder, don't know how to let nothing go. So I decided to do a closet clean out, a closet detox, spring cleaning, if you will, get rid of all the old sweaters and the coats. It's short and skirt season. Y'all see that big old bag over there? Them full of nothing but coats. A hoarder. Y'all see me right here. I'm almost done. Packing all the winter clothes. Welcoming all the summer colors.
Baby, I'm outside with no edges, baby, with no makeup on, baby. But let me tell y'all, I'm outside. I had bought this little, this pretty color, ain't it, y'all? This, this ain't your everyday color, baby. This pretty. I tried to pair it with these glasses I had for years. Y'all remember these glasses was out with the rhinestones around it? I'm missing the rhinestone. I tried to pair them with these, but I can't fit these shorts. These, I'm sorry about the camera movie. Y I can't fit these shorts. These are a medium. So I'm right here at Rainbow, and I'm finna see can I take them back. It's it's 85 degrees here in Chicago, y'all. It's so so hot. But I snatched this. These shorts, this shirt was like six dollars, and these shorts was like six dollars. Seven ninety seven, six ninety seven. I'm finna see could they could I please trade these shorts? Then I paired it with these heels right but today i'm going to get my nails toes it because it's gemini season baby and i'm a gemini it's almost my birthday and i'm i'm celebrating all month so this this look like it go with this to me but if we could find a pair of rainbow sneakers or if i could find a pair of nice sandals there's two stores right here we gonna uh let's make it happy y'all so let's go i don't want to put on the glasses i'm so hot it feel like it's making my face sweat so let's go come on Going rainbow first. Oh, baby, they robbing so much in a, in Chicago, baby. You don't even want to carry a purse. Look, I'm put this little faulty, high faulty up in my breast. Baby, they is. What is wrong with these young people? They don't want no freaking work. They want to run up. I just seen on the on the news. They done ran up on three Mexicans going up in a crib. The Mexican man would not go in his house. His family was in there. His kids. Him and his friends, they took whatever they had on them. That man would not go by his door. That's a man. You not coming in here messing with my family. You can have this little money, sir. Sir, y'all can have this. Y'all running around here pulling up on people, jumping out with ski masks and something on. Please, God, save our youth. Save them. Some of them under them ski masks, 15 some years old, baby. They mom don't even know they out here being bad like this. But let's go, y'all. So, hey guys, I made it up in Rainbow. I got my shorts in here. I'm trying to bring back. And these are the shorts. Let them see that. And I got to hope they get my color. So, this is the color right here, right? That is it. Because that yeah. ain't it, is it? Oh, please, 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 please be a large, y'all. I'm going to see your peekaboo. No, it's a medium. Oh, it's one more, right? Come on, guys. It's a small. Oh, oh no, y'all, it's a small. What? You got one for me? Nah, I'm gonna take your bag or something. I'm gonna take it myself. Thank okay. you for holding the camera, my cameraman. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> oh no, y'all. We gotta find some else because I look. Let me show y'all what I got on. <laughs> Oh no, y'all! What the heck I'm wearing? This is bad. Let me get up here and take these back, and we'll figure something else out. We always do. Okay, I got bad news. I threw my receipt away, so I wasn't able to even uh 
get my money back from the shorts because they don't even have my size all they have is medium and i don't know if when i was in atlanta was i eating a lot of carbs because baby shall they be cooking cooking right and I, I even though i wasn't eating the meat i was eating like the macaroni the greens the, i've been putting salmon in every salad and i know salmon is high in protein but i put corn in my salad as well and a young lady was just telling me like corn is carbs so i don't know have i just been eating a whole lot of carbs i don't know what to say but i do know this i'm about to go to this other store that i just started going to and i'm finna fast i messed away because rainbow the little orange outfit i bought was too little i'm sweating y'all i'm hot the orange outfit i bought was too little now this outfit is too little so i'm gonna end up just giving this short set to my granddaughter or my daughter because i couldn't even take them back and this has got to be the prettiest color ever i really wish i don't know what i have i'm gaining weight and i ain't even eat meat i think i'm gonna lay off i don't know if i don't eat the salmon i'm gonna be lacking protein so my body when it losing weight it gets flabby i don't know i don't know i don't know but look what i just buy y'all it costs five dollars it's called G for G for women, sexy gold. Look, y'all. Let me show y'all how it look. It costs five ninety seven. It smells so good. Yep, it smells so good. I don't think I put on no perfume when I left out either. I got this out of rainbow. Look how pretty this bottle is. Do y'all see the lady legs? <laughs> It's so pretty. I'll probably just leave this in the car. But I still got that uh, Baccarat dupe in the car. And I still got my Family Dollar uh, perfume in the car. Ooh, it smells so good. But I don't think it lasts long. When I be getting the cheap perfumes, I don't think they last long. Okay, so let me, let's go on my other little new favorite store and see what we could get. Because I know I want to go get my toes and nails in and I want to do something fun today. But it's supposed to rain and it's looking like it's ready too. I think it's drizzling on my car too. Okay, come on. I ain't going nowhere without y'all. I don't even feel right without y'all. So let's go. Oh, Dangerous, you know how all your 
all your signs say don't talk to this person i used to always feel like i had a level and i used to be saying he ain't on my level so i knew him from the projects but i wouldn't have dared dated him in the projects because when i was in the projects i i dated the richest guy over there you hear what i'm saying baby me and everybody else honey but he not nah, for real he wasn't that type of guy but, <laughs> but back to the dangerous he used to try to talk to me, you know, if I see them in traffic, you know what I'm saying? He always had a nice guy pull up on you, his Lexus. This one, Lexus was flexing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he used to always pull up, but he always was by himself. Like, I know people be by themselves. I know this. And ever since COVID, people really be by themselves, right? But it was giving me. It was giving me a little bit weird vibes. Like, every time you see somebody they bad, they say, y'all gotta excuse me, I'm on the way in this brush app. So, every time I see me be bad, I used to be my homegirl sometimes. So one day I get, we get drunk. I know we went, I know early in the day, I, I must have gave him my number when we was at, um, we was at, Walmart when I bumped into him for well, some days before. I don't quite remember when I gave this man my number. But um what happened that night me and my homegirls went out, so I ended up giving my number out to probably a couple more people, right? So when he called, I come out when he called, he like I'm finna slab right there. So me and a couple of my homegirls, we go downstairs to the car. I'm like, y'all, come on downstairs. I'm going to see if I back. get this guy to take us to the liquor store. But that's a fifth, right? A fifth of Hennessy or Remy or something, right? So we all go downstairs. Girl, when I see him, we see him at the car. Girl, I had called an instant attitude. I'm like, y'all, girl, come on. That's him, girl. And uh, we walk off, leave him right there. Leave him on red, girl. They was like, Sasha, why you do him like that? I'm like, girl. I don't even remember giving him my number y'all this i do this my hair edge girl i need to give me some wigs but i'm trying to grow these edges back so girl uh he he called but i i, I didn't block them after that baby i get upstairs i didn't block so we all laughing and everything they're like why you do that well i'm like because i don't like him well i had a type y'all when i was a little couple of years back baby i, I, I felt like i had a type baby i had options but Right now, I'm desperado. Baby, give me anybody. So, um, like I said, I end up, we walked off or whatever. So, I ain't hear from him for months. He started sliding up in my, uh, what is this? Oh, that come off the back of a truck. He started sliding up in my, um, in my inboxes on Facebook. So, as I'm at work, me and the, me and the, uh, the lady who was working for me, we used to be sitting there cracking up laughing. He used to be sending all type of nude pictures and everything, like all type of <coughs> explicit pictures. But we used to be cracking up just, jeez, right? Cracking up laughing, right? So I don't know. He, he just kept being persistent. Or I just started liking him or I was just desperate. I don't know what happened, but I end up dating dangerous, y'all. To make a long story short, I end up dating dangerous. And the first time we dated, he flew to Atlanta to my house in Atlanta. I had a apartment in Atlanta. He flew down there, right? He like, he like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in Atlanta. He like, oh, I don't got no problem with that. I'm gonna be there this weekend when I'm at work. He was the manager of Family Dollar. Like I told y'all, to me, he went on my level. I was used to like drug dealers, uh, the men who drive trucks, the men who put down the concrete. Everybody was making like the. The, the concrete layer making about 400 a day. The truck drive makes 700. I wasn't used to the manager at Family Dollar. So my charismatic spirit get in it. So he come up there when um, he get paid or whatever. And so we, the first day I'm like let's, let's uh, like I think me and my friends they was finna go out. I'm like come on. He like no nah, I ain't finna go out with them the first day. The first day, like he just, he he was like, nah, man, you could just stay in here. We could, I'm sorry if y'all rocking, please forgive me. Nah, man, you could just stay in your house and we could just listen to some music, have a cocktail, you know, dance, you know, 
get to know each other better. We don't got to go around people. So I didn't look at that as a sign. Do y'all know when people be want to close y'all off to the world or from your... Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Close you off... Oh, my gosh. When people want to close you off to the world or... When people want to... um, What am I want to say? When people want to close you off to the world or they want to keep you all to themselves, them be... Them be signs of people kind of like not so nice, y'all. Ain't that much. Don't want to be around people in the world like what? Like that ain't that ain't cool. But I didn't notice the sign then, right? I'm like, okay, then okay, we can chill. But I already had plans to go outside with the homegirls. So I'm like, you could just go. You know what I'm saying? It'll be some guys go. We can get a section in the club. Let's have a good time. But he wasn't buying it right so i'm like okay i'm sorry again y'all so that was one sign so after that i gotta have to write it down y'all so i won't forget nothing okay so let's let's speed it forward let's speed it forward one day me and him getting we, we was dating for about a year and some almost two years one day me and him get into it like like had an argument he never ever wanted to go. Uh oh, that was a big one, y'all. I just would like feel like calling y'all back when I'm sitting still, cause this is it's bothering me that y'all gonna be at the TV, you gonna be bouncing around like this. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me tighten my thing or something. Maybe that might help. Hold on. Okay, I hope that I hope that helps. So he um. Okay, so let me think of something else that he did because I want to just get to it, y'all. Get to the nitty gritty. Okay, so like one day me and him get into it, right? Once we was dating, we was dating. Oh, and he moved in really quick, y'all. Moved in really quick. Um, When I first started dating him, he started taking me to Macy's, getting me like Dior lip gloss, $40 lip gloss, uh, little, little, little chains, uh, little studded earrings for like 565 like he was he was just he was just being nice right i still ain't noticed the signs that he never wanted to go around people he didn't even want to go to restaurants he used to be telling me like when i used to go in the restaurant y'all you wouldn't even know i was with somebody because he used to be like i'm gonna sit in the car when we used to go to the club guess what he used to say i'm gonna sit in the car so i'm just trying to give y'all signs of I dated a narcissist. Um, and I, I just want you guys to watch out for certain signs. So you won't date a narcissist. A narcissist. A nar you know. Girl, so let me tell y'all what he did. One day we get into it. We leave my, my girlfriend's house. We get into it. Oh, uh, uh, these guys think they finna budge me, honey. A uh, lie. Okay, so this one happened. One day, we get into it. We just leave my girlfriend's house. He was over her house jumping up and down like a little kid, girl. Like a little, one of my daycare kids. Jumping up and down like a two-year-old. In, in her house. Her husband, her brother, and them, everybody looking like. I'm like, what's wrong? He like, uh. No, F this. He just, he just talking about something in the past and I think it triggered something in him and he was like if I would have been there bro he telling my friend brother if he would have been there he had her brother had got jumped on and it really really triggered some of his head he jumping up and down this picture like a two year old jumping up and down cause they falling out loud because they want some candy or a toy out of Walmart he jumping up and down like, if I would have been there, bro, if I would have been there, would have never went like that. I'm looking at him like, and I'm looking at my friend like, and I'm looking at him like. So he um, he he telling her. I mean, he's saying, I, I, this would have never popped off if he was here and stuff like that, right? So we 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 leaving, we get home, me and him getting sued. I'm like, why you was acting like that? Well, he don't, he don't see. Nothing is wrong in his eyes to him. Nothing. I think I'm going to have to pick, I'm going to call y'all back because I can't take all this. I can't take it. It's just too much jumping for me. 
I think it's best that I sit still and talk to y'all. So I'm gonna call y'all right back. Okay, it looks like we got a little smooth road ahead. So here we go. So he he never seen wrong in himself. Never. So we get home, me and him having a misunderstanding, a, a first argument or whatever it is. I'm like, you you was you was embarrassing. Like, I'm damn near 50 years old. You over here jumping up and down like a kid. I know that probably made you sad that your friend went through whatever he went through, but I used to date no grown grown man jumping up and down. Could y'all picture a grown man? Could you picture your man jumping up and down like, let's go to God, just overreacting or whatever. Like, so he like, I ain't overreacting. Woo, woo, woo. We, we steady having words. Do y'all know this man that grabbed me right here, put his nail, nails in me when I say I had scars everywhere, I, I couldn't even go to work the next day. It was the summertime. I'm talking about deep in me. Do y'all know I was looking at him? A squeaky voice was coming out of me like, let me go, let me go, let me go. Do y'all know his ass was cold black? Cold black, like charcoal black. Like his eyeball purple. Like I never even seen nobody with black eyeballs. His head got cold black. I stay saying, let me go, let me go, let me go. Do you know I had to like snatch away that it was like dripping blood? That he did it again. He said, you making me do it. You making me do this. You making me do this. I'm like, huh? In my head, I'm literally in my head talking to God like, come on, God. This can't be the way. Please help. Do y'all know when I woke up? Oh, did I say, did I tell y'all I passed out? When I woke up, he was gone. With my door wide open, he was gone, y'all. He left the scene, honey. I, I had him blocked. He called me, like, from different Google numbers. Kept saying it, it's your fault. It was like he never took accountability. And then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He never took, y'all know what, for real this time. Like, I, I'm gonna call y'all that.